Hi guys, Kotu Tan here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we understood how to move from MVC to MVP. In this video, we will continue to explore MVP and start preparing for implementing the MVP for Android application. To get started, we have to understand that there is a one-to-one -one mapping between view and presenter. What do I mean by that is for every view, there is a corresponding presenter. Well, to emphasize this point, let's have a look at this particular screen which we have been implementing. Initially, when the screen gets loaded, you basically want to show the all to do's and then when the user clicks on add button, you want to add a new item to the list view that is basically update the existing view or if something goes wrong, you probably want to show an appropriate error. Another feature is if you click on the item in the list view you want to navigate to a another screen that is on to do item selected you want to navigate to a data manipulation activity which is a another screen so four methods that you see on the top basically belong to the view and actions that we are doing on this particular screen belong to the presenter the same concept applies to the another screen that we are going to build which is data manipulation activity. When you navigate to this particular activity, initially you want to show which particular to do item you selected to either remove or modify. So you want to initially show the selected to do and then when you click on the remove button you want to update the view based on that particular action and once again if you click on the modify button you want to once again update the view based on the modify button click and then in any of these cases if something goes wrong you probably want to even show an appropriate error. So once again here also you can clearly see that the top four methods correspond to the view and the actions correspond to the presenter. So for every screen there is a view and a presenter there is a one-to-one -one mapping between the view and the presenter for each screen and whoever is going to implement the MVP will have to implement the view and the presenter for that particular screen. So in a way there is a contractual relevance between the view and presenter for the screen that you will be implementing. Understanding of this particular pattern is very important when we actually get down to implementing it. So park this idea in your mind. So when we actually get down to implementation, we basically start with creating a very basic view and presenter. Programmatically speaking, I would be creating an interface called as base view and then I will be creating a base presenter. So base view has set presenter which takes presenter as the argument and base presenter has got a method called as start which we will be having a look at a bit later. Having this base view and base presenter, it's now time to understand what do I mean by view presenter contractual relevance. The next part is we will be defining an interface called as main screen contract and inside the main screen contract, there has to be a view and presenter. So of course, we would be having a interface called as view which extends base view with the presenter and the presenter is nothing but another interface defined once again inside the main screen contract. And if you pay attention to the whole structure of this particular interface, the view and presenter are part of one single interface called as main screen contract. Since there is a one-to-one -one mapping between view and presenter and there is an obligation on the developer, whoever is implementing a particular screen to implement both view and presenter as a part of whole contract, it is best represented that we use this way of defining the view and presenter as a part of the interface for a particular screen. We can follow the same mechanism for the another screen as well that is data manipulation screen contract and this interface once again defines two more interfaces an interface which is a view that extends base view and then the presenter which will be handling the remove and modify action. So this would give you a very basic idea about how we will be implementing MVP for the application that we will be building. So let's have a look at the actual code. 
this is the source code of the application that you will be having a look at as a part of this tutorial series and to start with you have this interface called as base presenter and base view and if you try to understand the hierarchy when i select and click on control h it basically shows that view in main screen contract and view in data manipulation screen contract if you go there you have main screen contract and inside the main screen contract you have an interface view which extends base view with the presenter and this presenter is nothing but a presenter that is defined in the same contract interface and it has got certain methods that would be relevant for this particular view and in the same way there is another interface called as data manipulation screen contract and it's an interface and once again it has got certain methods which are corresponding to the view and the presenter of that particular screen and then if you see further it is the activity which extend the view so we will have a detailed look at this a bit later in the upcoming videos but other than this what we also have is a model model is once again an interface which has got certain methods get all to do get to do add to do item remove to do item and modify to do item and this model interface has been implemented by mcv model implementer i can just rename this as model implementer and you can see that it basically uses database adapter that we have implemented as a part of the sqlite database series to carry out all the database operations and return the appropriate results to the class whoever will be invoking this particular model implementer so let me stop here in the next video we will actually get down to a little bit more details but this particular class hierarchy should basically give you basic understanding of how we will be implementing mvp in this series so stay tuned for the upcoming video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye